Thank you all viewers and subscribers for tune into our channel. In previous parts of this project, we have seen introduction, software, hardware configurations and interfacings of the project, IoT-based smart door lock. In this part, we will see demo of the project, main schematic explanation, and code of the project. So, let's get started. And see, schematic or circuit diagram of the project. All wire connections are given in color coding, so you can easily track them. Here is particle photon P0, main controlling components, an IoT development board which has onboard Wi-Fi capability. This is 3.5-inch next-gen touchscreen display. This is RC522 RFID reader module. This is 2-channel relay board. This is 12-volt solenoid lock. This is MB102 breadboard power supply module. We will see all these components in demo. Now let's move forward and see final code of the project. This is the project in Visual Studio Code Editor. You can see here, we have added libraries of RFID and NextGen display. Code is self-explanatory with comments and proper sectioning. Note that here in callback function of button named enter. You can change security pin numbers of users. Then here in scan RFID function, Replace these UID codes with your RFID card's codes. Particle.SyncTime, this function in setup, sync the current time with particle cloud. In callback function of button named enter, we call telegram webhook in particle.publish function. This generates the OTP. And here in OTP entry buttons callback function, we call this locker entry webhook for recording authorized user's name to Google Sheet. We will share this code on our GitHub account. Links will be given in description of this video. Please note that you have to replace few things from given code as per your parameters. For example, 1. UID codes of your RFID tags. 2. PIN numbers specific to users. And 3. Variable names of the webhooks for Telegram OTP and Google Sheet. That's all. Let's move forward. Now, let's see the actual demo of the project. So, here is the fully assembled circuit. First, let's overview components, connections, and how they got powered. Here is Particle Photon P0 IoT Development Board. This is 3.5-inch next-gen HMI touchscreen display. This is two-channel relay board, which we have used to operate this 12-volt solenoid lock. This is MB102 breadboard power converter module. This is RC522 RFID reader module. And these are RFID cards and tags. Particle Photon is powered through this micro USB cable by power bank, here. Then, this RFID reader operate at 3.3 volt, which we have taken from Photon's 3V3 pin. This MB102 board is powered using this 7.4 volt LiPo battery, which we have connected here using DC jack. This board converts, or, steps down 7.4 volts to, two power rails, 3.3 volt and 5 volt. We have used that 5 volt to power the next-gen display and the relay board. To power the solenoid lock, we have used this 11.1 volt LiPo battery. So this is all about components used in this circuit. You can get this schematic on our GitHub account. Links are shared in the description of this video. Power on the circuit. At first next-gen display will show default screen. Like this. Particle Photon will connect to our Wi-Fi, then through Internet it will connect to Particle Cloud. It will fetch current day, date, and time, and then display it. So, door unlocking process will be like this. If anyone want to unlock the door, he or she should have valid RFID card. Authorized users' UIDs will be registered during programming. Then, for unlocking, 
user need to place the RFID card on the reader. If the UID of that card is registered in Photon, means, if the user has valid RFID card, only then, the next screen will appear, which is pin entry screen. This display is touch screen. Here user has to enter valid pin associated with his or her account. If user enters valid pin, only then, the next screen will appear on display, which is OTP entry screen. When user enters valid PIN on previous screen, a four-digit OTP will be sent on Telegram application of user. Yes, you must have guessed why we find out Telegram user ID and entered that in webhook configuration. To send OTP to particular user's Telegram account, we must need its user ID, or, you can say, the chat ID. When user receives OTP on Telegram app, it should be entered on OTP entry screen. So, if user enters correct OTP, only then, lock will get unlocked. And, the details of valid entry, username, ID, and timestamp will be sent to Google Sheets by a webhook. Let's see how this works. Let us try another RFID card. Place that on reader. This is valid card for user 2. Screen shows it is valid. Pin entry screen appears. Enter pin. As soon as you enter correct PIN, we got OTP on Telegram app. Let's check that OTP and enter it on OTP screen. Pay attention on Google Sheet Insight window, where you will get valid entries log. Lock gets unlocked as you entered correct OTP. After few seconds screen goes back to default home page. This blue RFID tag is not registered. Let's see how system react to it. Put it on reader. OK, it is saying invalid user. That's right. Now once again we will use registered RFID card. Enter PIN again. It's valid. Then entered received OTP. Lock will get unlocked, and you will see another entry on Google Sheet. Please note that even anyone knows or guesses the PIN of user, Unless he or she enters correct OTP, lock cannot be opened. Likewise, if anyone enters wrong PIN or wrong OTP, door lock will not open. Screen will go to normal mode again. So, in this way, we have completed this project. If you face any difficulty in replicating this DIY project, feel free to ping us on Telegram, or you can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.